no end proof for him anyway, but we can watch that tomorrow afternoon at 4.45. And there's another good drama as well, isn't there? On a Monday. Press gang press on a gang Monday, that's right, because that's Linda right. And, and Spike are always arguing. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Well, I'm afraid, mate, if you watch they're it yesterday... Not. No, they are. They never yes, argue. Bag. They are. They do not. T-shirt, what are you doing? I won't be long. Time's pressing on and I'm getting worried. The day of the great celestial tea ceremony draws ever closer. And we're no nearer to laying our hands on those vital spoons. Well, we're not going to waste any more time today. Let's get cracking. Let's just see if there's any sign of that dratted girl. What's this? What's this? <gasps> T-shirt, look! The next silver spoon ripe for the picking and I found it first. Who looks like a pushover, like taking bonbon from a baby. What are you doing? Just changing the calendar. Yes, well, hurry up. Because... Hey, hey, the T-shirt, T-shirt. What? What's up? What is it? <laughs> look at the date, look at the date. Friday the 13th, so what? So what? Friday the 13th, the unluckiest day of the year. Eh? <laughs> a day of doom and despair, devastation and destruction. Get out of it. Only an idiot, a complete fool, would venture out on Friday the 13th. That settles it. I'm staying in all day. On the other hand, there's no reason why you shouldn't go out. But you just said only an idiot or a complete fool would venture out today. Need I say more? Oh, what a load of superstitious twaddle. It is not twaddle. Bunkum, hocus pocus, mumbo jumbo. What do you know? Get dressed and I'll tell you what to do. <laughs> Pardonnez-moi, monsieur. Do I not know you from somewhere? No, I don't think so. Oh, but I'm sure I know your face. Monsieur Claude! Why, it is Monsieur Claude, the art critic. That is who you are. I know who I am. All the great Parisian painters revere you. Well, of course. And that is because I know a good painting when I see one. I am never, never wrong. What a piece of luck running into you like this. I am an artist. A good artist. Paris is bursting at the Seine with good artists. Oh, but monsieur, come to my studio and see some of my work. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I would so much value your no. opinion. No, I'm too busy. Oh, please, look, look. My studio is on the Rue de Noyes. I implore you, just for five minutes. Rue de Noyes? Shall we say this evening about uh, 10 o'clock? Oh, merci. Merci beaucoup, monsieur. Yeah, yeah. Look for my name on the door. Driver. Vincent Van Driver. <laughs> Oh, hello. This might sound strange, but... Uh... Are you hungry? I am a bit, but I haven't got any money. You and me both. Leftovers. Here. Are you sure? Oh, go on, eat. Oh, thanks. Are you an artist? I am. Here, let me do a little sketch of you. Well, all right. I do have a minute or two. Oh, this will just take a minute. T-shirt, hurry up. Right, I'm dressed. Oh, no, this will be more suitable. Make up your mind. I've come up with an ingenious plan for you to get that spoon. Listen carefully. I'm only going to say this once. You pretend to be selling onions, right? Right. You go up to that fool, and to demonstrate your wares, you cut an onion in half, right? Right. The onion makes him cry. His eyes fill with tears, right? Right. And while his eyes are filled with tears, you clobber him with this loaf, Grab the spoon and hop it, right? That's stupid. What a pathetic plan. Right! Right. So, you see, I've really got to find this silver spoon and stop teabag before it's too late. What a weird story. I'm sorry I cannot help you. Oh, never mind. Look, I've really got to go now. Oh, finished. There, what do you think? I 
That's really good, Vincent. I had a good model. Oh, nice to meet you. All the best. Au revoir, ma petite. Bye. Oh, oui? Have you seen that other man? He was sitting here a few minutes ago. Uh, you mean Monsieur Claude? He had to take his leave. Oh, curses, I've missed him. What a pain. Oh, if it is important. It is important. Uh, then I do know that he will be dropping in at my studio this evening at 10 o'clock. You could come and meet him then. Okay, great. Are you an artist? I am a poor, hungry, starving artist, to be precise. Oh. Oh, want some bread? Oh, but I have no money. Oh, have it, have it. Really? Yeah, take it. Oh, but I must pay you somehow. Forget it. No, no, no I insist. Uh, how would it be if, if I were to give you some free art lessons back at my studio? At your studio? I could teach you everything I know. Okay, that's fair enough. All right, it's a deal. Lead the way, Monsieur. I don't believe it. He's actually using his brain for once. Obviously, my influence is beginning to rub off on him at last. About time. About breakfast time, too. <gasps> yeah! It's happening already! Spilling the salt, bad luck! What do I do? Throw it over my shoulder. It's over all the eggs. Oh, well. Oh, not the mirror! It had to be the mirror! More bad luck! <gasps> A little dab of ochre, a tinge of salmon pink, a modicum of mulberry, then indigo, I think. A trace of fancy amber, a touch of flesh and blue, a soup of a million, how you can do it too. Paint, 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 canvas is galore. Oh, I love the artist's life, painting should adore. Paint, 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 canvas is galore. Oh, how I love the artist's life, painting should adore. Now, my young protégé, how are you doing? Great. I'm really getting into this art, Lark. No, that's the idea. You're really getting the hang of it. Mm, that looks rather good. It almost makes me feel hungry again. What do you mean? Well, it's a pizza, isn't it? No, it's a picture of your face. Oh, yes, yes, I see it now. Very good. I thought you said that Monsieur Claude was coming here at 10. Oh, that is so. But it's way past that now. Is it? Well, I had no idea of the time. Well, is he coming or isn't he? Ah, oh, he promised. I should have known. He is not interested in the likes of me. You mean he's not coming? It does not look like it, does it? Oh. Oh, I'm going out. I need some fresh air. Are you coming? No, I'm going home. Ah, oh, well. Au revoir. Old Bimbag's not going to like this one little bit. Lucky horseshoe. Lucky four-leaf clover. Keep doing your stuff for pity's sake. So far, so good. Only another hour and this fearful Friday the 13th will be over. Roll on midnight. Roll on midnight. Oh, hello. Hi. What a day. No luck. You're joking. I've been traipsing around this city all day. And? No silver spoon. I'm really fed up. You are fed up. I am fed up. Well, let's be fed up together. I know how to give Her Majesty a good laugh. OK, Simpo, let's see what you look like with a beard and moustache. <laughs> Bonsoir, bonsoir. Sorry, I'm a little late. Oh, I understood this to be the studio of one Vincent Van Driver. Yes. Well, where is he? He's gone out. Gone out? He drags me halfway across Paris, then he goes out? Well, I'm here. Who are you? I'm his pupil, Toulouse La Chute. Toulouse La... This is Van Driver's work, but it is rubbish! 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 No, you don't understand! How dare you tell me I don't understand? I understand everything about art. I know what I like and what I don't like, and I don't like that. But... This... I do like. This is superb. 
Magnifique. And you say you're his pupil? Eh? You're a genius? This is great art. True. I must have it. Name your prize. Oh, I'm not interested in money. Money is filthy, vulgar stuff. Don't you agree? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're quite right. Uh, Common. I <laughs> never touch it. A sensitive soul, such as the likes of what I am, tries to surround himself with only beautiful things. L'objet d'art. Pardon? Beautiful things. Exactly. Antiques, that kind of clobber. Now, if you were to offer me something small and silver, I wouldn't turn my nose up at that. <laughs> it just so happens. I have something small and silver in my pocket. I thought you might. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh. Anything that is mine is yours. Come with me, Toulouse La Shirt, and I will make you that post of Paris. <laughs> Half an hour till midnight. Where is that boy? You've sent him off on a simple errand and he's gone the whole day. Little brat, what's he up to? What's this? Just a minute. This can't be right. Yesterday was Wednesday, wasn't it? So today is Thursday the 12th. The little gremlins ripped off two pages at once. The stupid boy, I don't believe. I'll marmalize him. Ah! Who have we here? Monsieur Claude. Mm, please come and see my paintings, you said. I beg you, I implore you, you said. But I thought you weren't coming. Monsieur, I am a man of my word, unlike you. Oh, but... Fortunately, my journey proved fruitful. You liked my paintings? Your paintings are the work of a monkey. Oh, I have discovered a rare and precious talent. You have? Mm-hmm. Your pupil here. T-shirt? He's a genius. A genius? A little pipsqueak. You are joking, of course. Joking, monsieur? Instead of wasting your time with those pieces of rubbish you call paintings, you should take a few lessons from your pupil here. Come, my boy. Let us paint the town rouge. Maybe I am missing something here. What is it I am missing? These are so simple, so basic, so direct. Yes, yes. I begin to see what Monsieur Claude means. Their simplicity is their strength. These are magnificent. I've been wasting my time with all this fussy, finicky, realistic rubbish. This is the style for me. <laughs> now, much as I had to talk business, let's talk business. Fire away. I want to mount an exhibition of your portraits. Of course. I must have a lot more. You must? Mm-hmm. And you can have as many little silver antiques as you like. What I'm really after is a silver spoon. <laughs> I picked one up this morning at the flea market. You don't say. Uh -huh. I will go home and get it for you. Great. But you know what I want in return. More pictures. Mm-hmm. I will meet you at the studio. Au revoir. Now what do I do? Hello. Oh, hello. I was just admiring your work. You know, it's true what Monsieur Claude says. This is the style of tomorrow, no question. Yeah, well, forget them. I'd like to buy one of your paintings, Vincent. Oh, that's very kind of you, but I have decided to burn all my paintings. No. Yes, at least they will be good for something, keeping me warm in the winter. But I need all your portraits. Oh, I never do portraits. In fact, the one of the little girl is the only one I ever finished. But that one's already so, so, so lovely that I'd like another one. Eh? Come on, Vinnie, pick up your brush, get stuck in. Oh. I want another portrait. Oh, but where am I going to find another beautiful model at this time of night? T-shirt. Oh! Your Majesty. Come here, you little imbecile. Just the person we need. Don't give me that flannel, genius Jim. Come here. 
No, listen, Your Majesty, you've got to help. Well, Mr. Van Driver, or whatever your name is, my young friend here tells me you're looking for a model. Well, yes. Someone beautiful and lovely. Oui, do you know anyone like that? Me! Oh, yes. Well, I suppose you will do. Well, let's get cracking. I'll just slip into something more spectacular. There. Well, don't just stand there. Get daubing. But, monsieur... Will you please stop annoying me, mademoiselle? But you've got to listen to me. You're being tricked. Look at my face. Your face? Look at my face. You! You are her! The little girl in a painting! Exactly! And I'm telling you, it's Vincent Van Driver who painted it! Sacre bleu! No one makes a Claude out of Monsieur Claude! Come with me, mademoiselle! Hurry up! I'm getting pins and needles sprawled here like this! There! It is complete! The finest painting I have ever done! You have me to thank for that! Ah! Sally! Tea bag! You are a little boy! How dare you lie to me! Here is the real genius! Pardon? This is the maestro with a paintbrush! Uh-oh! <laughs> You're working on another masterpiece, huh? Well, I... <laughs> on account of the, the modest, show me. Yeah. What's that supposed to be? Vincent? It looks like a pizza! What is going on here? See? I told you I'm the real genius around here. Liar. It is you who are the liar, mademoiselle. Can't you see for yourself what rubbish this man produces? Well, yes, yes but... monsieur. The girl's a pathological fibber. Everybody knows that. Now give the young man his spoon, like you promised. Ah, the spoon, yes. Here we are. Another portrait? Right. Cup hold of this. <laughs> and I'll send you round another six in the morning. Six? <laughs> oh, it's a deal. Oh, no! But, monsieur! Ah, oh, bonsoir! Bonsoir! Monsieur, monsieur, you're oh, being killed all night. night again! Well, Sally Simpkins, slipped up at last. That was a rotten trick to play on a really nice man. Who cares? I've got the silver spoon. And that's all that matters. Too bad, Petal. <laughs> See, Your Majesty, Friday the 13th wasn't so unlucky after all. Yes, that reminds me, you chump. Today isn't Friday the 13th, it's Thursday the 12th. Eh? You foolishly ripped off two pages of the calendar at once. Did I? Yes, there was I worried to death all day long, and all for nothing. Your Majesty, Your Majesty. What is it? It's midnight. So what? So that means it's not Thursday the 12th anymore. I know that, you twit. It's Friday the 13th now. Well, obviously it's... Oh! Uh-oh. T-shirt! Don't move! Just blink and get us home! Hurry! Don't panic. I'll just get my pictures. Leave them! Leave them! Just get us back! Quick! Oh, don't start all that mumbo-jumbo again. It is not mumbo-jumbo! Oh, all right. Here, does this make you happy? Oh. Thank you, Petal. <laughs> <laughs> Monsieur, there is my signature, V for Vincent. What more proof do you want? My boy, I apologize. It is you who will be the toast of Paris. Here. Oh, no, no. Now, oh, but... Da, 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 da. When I tell you you are on your way, believe me, you are on your way. Time I was on my way as well. Only one more spoon to get.
Teabag will be back again next Tuesday. Watch out for that. Yes. Now, as you know, there's loads of new shows starting on Children's ITV. Definitely. On Friday, you'll be able to see The Fun the House. The Fun House. With, um, um,